welcome back to your balance diet of teletainment. Now we get to Kajat guest in the house, but I just need to let you know, say, you need to listen to this interview. Now, how many of you get picking where we say you're picking they get difficulty in learning? Now, for inside Wobodo, Nigeria, hundreds of thousands of children, they actually suffer for one particular, uh, like say it's a disease? No, it's not a disease. Or, a, or what? It's a disorder. A disorder, sorry, mm -hmm. whether they call dyslexia. dyslexia. Yes. Yeah, a lot of them, they actually suffer around. Now, in some cases, some of them, that they maltreat them, that they stigmatize them. And in this country, whereby we are so religion um, focused, some people feel even look at look them, say they don't propose you from your village or now which uh, which now you be. That's now why we need to raise awareness concerning this particular disorder. And we get this Kajat person in the house. I'm now the chairman of the board of trustees of the Dyslexia uh, Foundation in Nigeria. This one is Nigeria's number one non -government, no, non government and non profit um, foundation dedicated in creating awareness concerning this disorder. Ingo Sanchez, more concerning this. Join me, welcome Mr. Ben Arikpo inside the house. Good to have you, sir. Good morning. good morning. My people, good morning. Good to be here. Good to have you here. Good. Now, just for people to understand and better, um, tell us what in this lecture be. Okay. Uh, to speak, um, so that it's very, it's very simple term, dyslexia, no nah, be disease, no be sickness, so you don't get cure. Okay. Now, nah, disability or disorder. When person get dyslexia, there are five things when they take notes they get dyslexia. One, you don't go feel read. Even if it's a big book well, well, or it's a big day intelligent, you ask a question, you answer, but even something to read, you don't go feel read up. You don't feel read, you don't feel spell. If you give them something to spell, you go look them 10 times, you don't go feel spell up. If you give them writing, in writing be like jaga jaga. No be doctor, oh no, but jaga jaga. Parents go worry, say, ah, the picky know they feel right, oh. You know, feel right. And then comprehension. When you they tell us something, you know, go understand. Understand in no day. Even if you give us something to read, because you know, feel read, they read word by word. You know, read sentence. And when you know, feel read sentence, now how you go take understand? So comprehension, no day also. Mm. So those four things you go see, reading, writing, spelling, comprehension. And it can't be said sometimes, some of them, many of them, they can't get to it and they call them for big English, attention deficit disorder. They don't go feel focused or stay one place for a long time. Three minutes, two minutes, one minute, they don't come out. They don't feel stay there. Their brain, they walk them, they push them. But they, they push them inside body. It's not a disease, but it's just the way that their brain, God, take great time. Look at come in here. Now, yeah. at what point it becomes a dyslexia disorder? Because I know, say, um, they are... Children they differ as regards to their intellectual um, um, ab abilities. Mm -hmm. If you get some people, we say so from two years they start to dispel. Yes. And if you get some people, we say from five years they first start to dispel. So yes. at what age you will notice say there's and there's a level of disorder in Let, it? From the time when you born the Pekin, okay, you fit know when the Pekin will get this or this order or not, and other disorders. For instance, when the Pekin born, you know you know cry. Why you know cry? Because oxygen no enter in brain. And that time when oxygen no enter in brain, I may say if it get brain damage, where if the pekin begin to grow, you go get dyslexia or any other disorder. If it begin to grow self, when it begin to walk out, when it may supposed to crawl, you know they crawl. When they're supposed to stand and walk out, you know they stand and walk out. You get developmental delays. Every stage of in life, you go delay. When it may they speak for one year and six months or two months, in fit day three years, five years before you begin to talk. Mm -hmm. So all those early stages, you can notice it before they become three and even get to school. When they get to school, then you can notice that this morning when they tell them, say, rhyme, read this morning, rhyme, ma'am, they know they take interest. You give them a pencil, say, write something, and draw, you go draw around, scatter, scatter. You know, go do them. Teacher go complain, tired. You go hit them for head. If mama get home or get home for parents, papa look and say, look at this old lodo. Give a name. You know, if you do anything, no sabi anything, you are amazed, they do this, you are amazed. From that two, three years, you can see it clearly. You can see that the, the child is struggling in school already. And that is the time to begin to seek help, oh, because some of us been waiting really too late before we begin to seek the help. What kind of help person is sick? Two things. One is go and do an assessment. I, tell, I ask some parents, say, oh, you are picking at 10 years, 12 years, which you don't do because you say, I never do anything. No. How you not go do anything? 
You see, say, Abiki, you know, they were kind in time. You know, talk in time. You know, do anything. You just they wait. They pray. Prayer, God will answer prayer, but you have to do something else. God don't give people knowledge where they will take solve those problems. So apart from prayer, go find solution. Go and do an assessment. Assessment from who? From there are places that are designed and known for those kind of places. For instance, the Dyslexia Foundation get one. Which is the cause all of this thing now for person brain? No be witchcraft. If your brain is designed in a different way that you cannot read, write, spell, and comprehend, you can rewire your brain by doing exercises. There are some exercises where we get for center, where we feel give person where they don't feel right, where they don't feel right, where they don't feel read, where they don't feel comprehend, and over time the person feel begin right. In my own case, my picking, nine years, you don't feel right, you don't feel spell, you don't feel read, before I discover. By the time I can't discover now, we'll put them for this program, when we get the program called Nigeria, in nine months, he started to speak, not, not speaking rather, he started to read. He began to pass the exam when he passed before. He began to shine. And that's what every parent wants. And not only for people living where they shine. The brain program is even for people where they want their children to go Ivy League University. You won't make your picking go Oxford, Cambridge. But you know, feed rich there. Put them for brain training program. There are brain training programs that can be used to improve the brain. The brain can be rewired. You can rewire your brain through exercises. If you do those exercises consistently for a long time, sometimes six months, sometimes nine months, sometimes even one year or two years, even if you be a low though, you go smart. But well, this program's fair because you know, say a lot of parents there, they're not even afford to send their children to school, talk less of taking them through this assessment process. Are they free? They're not free. But that is why the foundation is creating awareness about the condition. First, let us know what it is. Okay. Because if I go to a person as a foundation chairman and say, oh, God, give me 10,000, make I take pay for a person who won't do this, that my mama no get, or picking no get. You go say, what's in me dyslexia? What's in me that? So you get to know first what's in me dyslexia and the consequences. When you see all these area boys, some of them will fall out of school. They don't feel pass exam. That's why they became area boys. And you can't expect them to do any better until they are corrected. So the correction we are looking for is right from the cause of the problem, which is in the brain. Once you can get them to re re rewire their brain through these exercises, then they can become well. So we are asking for people who are philanthropists, people, organizations particularly, who do social, or they call them corporate social responsibility, to take on this kind of thing. Sponsor the children to go to school, sponsor the foundation to do more of this awareness so that people can see that Dyslexia is not a death sentence. People will get dyslexia from this country plenty. Some of them don't even overcome her. I mean, one of them who's been working with us came out of Big Brother House to say the reason why she don't feel right well is because of her dyslexia. Mm. Ah, you know the person I talk about. <laughs> yeah. You know what, let's go back again because we know say we get just a few minutes to talk about this. Um, for people who are not actually stay and they, and they watch us when we start time, mm. tell us some of the signs of dyslexia again. Okay, number one sign. The person no go feel read. You no go feel spell. You no go feel right. In writing a jaga jaga, you no go feel understand even when you they talk to them. And then you know they focus. When they talk to them like this, sometimes Bill like I say they're absent minded. But despite these conditions, they have average and above average intelligence. That's what confuses parents. Mm. They say, ah, but my child is very intelligent too, but I don't know why he cannot read. The difference between reading and intelligence, two different things. My son, when we were going to airport one time, he asked me, he said, Dad, why helicopter not a taxi before it take off? Other planes, they taxi before they take off. Now, the kind of question where person will get this lecture, if he asks you be that. Because they are intelligent, now big one. But we need to teach them, help them how to write, spell, read, and comprehend, first and foremost. So that when they start, they can use that, their natural intelligence, which they already have, to then begin to shine. And it can happen. Within six months, nine months, 12 months, they can change. It is not a death sentence. We have done it, we have been doing it, and we are currently doing it. What about a child where you say, um, the child not the focus in class, but in some cases that you give him some question to answer, he go answer him, but he not the focus for that class. One, that, that one, the major, another major problem where they did their hand. Most of them, 95% of them get attention deficit disorder with hyperactivity. Then they go, Jump, 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 jump. Again, we get brain exercise. So we feel get them. What thing they make them not feel settled or concentrate now? Because they get for the back of their head some electrical current where they come for the front of the head, for the brain, inside the brain. So when that thing starts, it be like person they drive four-cylinder car and eight-cylinder car. 
the consumption of petrol different, their speed different. So now so their head be. So when you put them into these exercises where we get, you go make them, then they go calm down. And we have done it before. One way no get five seconds attention. Can't they autistic? Hmm. We use six months alone to keep them, to make them settle down. You sit down now, fifth day for class for one hour, two hours. Now you don't enter secondary school. Mm. But before now, you know, fit stay five seconds. <laughs> so if they, even, they, even if they are hyperactive, even if they know they stay one place, just bring them, say, we'll go train them, we'll go put them for this program over a period of time. You go first do assessment. When you do the assessment, the assessment will tell us what they worry them. Then from there, we'll say, oh, this person will stay three months old, will stay nine months old, 12 months old, two years old, as the case may be. Let me ask you this last question now. Parents feel contribute to, the, this, the, to this disorder? Plenty, plenty. Genetically, they can contribute. If your grandpapa or your great-grandpapa get them, there's no way you go, go, go feed, escape them. One of your children will get them. If you don't get them yourself, <coughs> one of your children will get them, if your grandpapa or the other. The second thing we say, when you begin to take stick, hand, they knock your picking for head, beat them. Every time you do something <coughs> for head, you won't beat them. You don't beat them for any part of the body. Mm -hmm. You feel hit that part of the brain where they cause dyslexia. And that is part, there's two causes of dyslexia. One is genetic, the other one is traumatic brain injury. Either you fall, some people say, oh, when my husband, they beat me, they pick him fall from my back, take head, hit crown. You could result in dyslexia. Or you save your hand. You won't beat picking now for head every time. Teacher for class. What well, then they beat children? No be for head. Hmm. Carry ruler, for head, kung, 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 kung. Those are the kind of things that they cause them. So, at the talk, say, make person picking, may they not beat picking for head again. Parents, stop hitting your child on the head. There's other parts of the body. In fact, smacking a child is not even the best I like that. Correction. Now, your final words to parents where they are, they will get children, we get difficulty in learning. Please, it is not a death sentence. It can be corrected. No matter how your child is dull right now, it can be made smarter if only you are patient enough to give it time. I was patient for nine months. I didn't complain. And in nine months, my own picking turned around. So You said nine years? Nine? That, it was nine, nine, years, nine years when I found out they had okay. a problem. Yes. But it took nine months to also help him get, out, get of out of it. So it is possible. There are people who are doing two years. There are others who are doing three months. Mm. There are others doing, it depends on how the, the beginning day, when we do the assessment, then we will find out. And then based on that, but please seek out help. And the help is available in Nigeria. Me, I found them for Yubo, but I bring her here, I can't do them here. Please give them all the platform to get the help. They okay, can help. good. You want to get into the uh, platform? Our website is www.dyslexiafoundation.org.ng. Dyslexia now, D Y S L E X I A, dyslexiafoundation.org.ng. You want to go to Facebook? Our Facebook page is, is Dyslexia NG. Dyslexia NG. You go for Instagram, Dyslexia NG. You go for Twitter, at Dyslexia NG. And if you want a phone number to call, you can call 0803-403-5001. 0803-403-5001. We'll be very happy to talk to you and to help you. And if you want to support the foundation to do more of this kind of work, also call us and tell us how you you'll be able to help us. And you want to volunteer, please just check out the website and come. Thank you very much, Mr. Ben Ariko. I'm now also sociologist with master's degree in industrial um, sociology and plenty other awards with actually Kolobi, but presently is the chairman of the board of trustees of the, of the Dyslexia um, Foundation in Nigeria. We've been Nigeria's number one non-government and non-profit foundation dedicated to creating more awareness concerning this disorder. So if you're beginning to get difficulty in learning, not be witchcraft. Stop beating that child. Seek help for that child. Thank you so much for coming again um, to the studio. To enjoy more of this, our Ubonga videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.